Hello, Pinty220 here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a world generator such as this. Now, I know the sound of the jetpack is kind of annoying, so I'm just going to destroy all the sounds. I'm not saving this, so it's okay. And so there is basically a world that this uh, sprite can go through. And I'm going to teach you how to make a world. And this world, basic, this project basically reads this list and turns these numbers into parts of the world. So it goes on. It even goes on more than this. Look. So it's very big. So I'm not going to show you all of it. But because I don't have a lot of time, I don't want to save that because of the sound. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So I already have the sprite here with all the costumes and you can make the costumes but make sure they're all the same width except maybe for an end wall which will just be at the end but otherwise make sure they're all the same width. Um, so yeah so first thing we need to do is make a couple variables. So well, two actually. So one needs to be for all sprites and the other for this sprite only. For, for all sprites, it will be scroll x. And for this sprite only, it'll be clone id. Okay, and then you have to make the list, and then we're going to call this world blocks okay this is made up of blocks pretty much that are that have to be the same width okay so now the first script is you have to start with a one green flag clicked a then we have to set these variables so we'd want to set clone ID to one and scroll X to zero. Now we want to repeat and it says 10 but we're going to change that. We're going to do length of world blocks. So however long this is so that if you add something you don't have to change the code. So that's how big the world is because this, this is the world blocks is responsible for the generator. And we want to just create a clone of myself and to change the clone ID by one. So that's pretty much all for this script except we need to hide because we don't want it to show. And now we need a cloning script. A script for the clone. So when I start as clone we want to Only, I, we want to show, but not if there's a gap. So we want to do an if and drag a not and do equals. And then we do item one, item clone ID of world block equals nothing. So let's say we leave a couple blank. Then it'll put a gap. So show. So otherwise it won't show. And we need to do switch to costume. And then again, item clone ID of world blocks. So that if if in world blocks I put a five, then it'll go to the costume five here. Okay? So uh, and now we want to forever and we want to do set x to just a little higher actually set x to and now we need a plus and a time so we want to do scroll x plus clone id 
I think it's clone ID times scroll X plus scroll X times 60. So now look, if we put, let's say, let's put a 1, a 2, and a 3. So it's like there, graph 1, graph 2, graph 3. Try it. So maybe it does need to be scroll X here and clone, no. Scroll X here and clone ID here. Yeah, there. That works better. And now, in the other one, you saw the world moved around, but it doesn't see everything. So, that's a pretty easy script. And that's why we have a scroll X variable. We're going to just do when green flag clicked, forever, take an if, and do key. Right arrow pressed, we want to do change scroll x by negative 10. And the, the higher the number, the faster it goes. Actually, if it's, if it's in negatives, the lower the number, the faster if it goes. If it's in positives, the higher the number. So now we just have to duplicate this. Replace this with left arrow and replace this with 10. Let's clean it up. Let's try now. See, now you can move around. Okay, so that's not it though. Let's say we want a couple fives. Right? There. Five. You see though that it sticks to the edge. So this is because that in Scratch, sprites or clones of sprites can't go past the, can't go off the screen, so they'll cling to the edge, even though it'll be like they're off the screen, they won't actually show off the screen. So, no. We have to just make a sprite, and I normally like vector. But right now we're going to use bitmap because it's a square anyway, so it's not going to be any more pixelated. And because it's easier to make something perfectly symmetrical, we oops, we just take the stamp tool, highlight the whole screen, or even more, it snaps to exactly the screen, and we click this flip left to right button, and now it has exactly that. We want to do green flag click forever. Oh, go to x, 0, y, 0, then go to the middle, so it'll be there, and go to front. So, see, that hides anything that claims there, and now we can just uncheck all these things so that it doesn't get in the way. And this is actually pretty much it. You can add stuff to, so it has to be stopped, to the hmm, list. Or, as I'm going to show you how to do now, you can write a program that adds it. So we'll do repeat 40 times, let's say. Okay, so first we want to delete all of world blocks, and we're just um, making a random world generator, so it's easy. I'd pick random 1, 2, and how many costumes are there? 1 to 12, wait, maybe. 1 to 12, yeah. Pick random 1, 2, 12 to world block. Actually, let's do this 39. And then at the end, we want to add 13, which you see is the end block here. End wall, I mean. So let's hide this. 
And now we have to wait a little bit for it. You see it's made of a random world. Hmm, 30 isn't so much. Let's try doing 100. Now wait a little. Okay. You see it's given us a random world. Um, yeah, even though the, the lava is up there sometimes. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.